Praise the Lord. Welcome to AIM. Guys, I'm here at the house. And I'm just checking on the soursop tree. My husband bought some soursop and we've been enjoying it. So I'm really, really looking forward to this tree producing us some fruit. So that's how this one looks that we've been watching. Seems like it might really be a fruit. And then, of course, we got the green ones. There was one over here. I don't see it now. Or well, maybe it was this one that had the yellow leaves on it. So there it is. And here's another one. So we'll keep our eyes on this and see how they do. I wanted to come over here and take you guys inside the garden. I have laundry to hang out. It's kind of cloudy here. It's hard to tell if it's going to rain or not for me anyway. It's hard for me to tell. So... <clears throat> I guess I should move these things out of the way before I turn the camera on, but it is what it is. I want you guys to really, really look at this garden. It's a wonderful thing. We'll start on this end. There's a lot of the poultry manure gone. My husband put that around the plants. Um, like I said, I will be harvesting some of these turmeric leaves very 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 soon maybe today or tomorrow the lord willing the ginger is here more turmeric we have more turmeric over there yes he left it i showed f with that yesterday when he was weeding so he left it there that's good the other avocado tree is right here and there's the cassava. This cassava is very, very nice. So we're going to get up close and personal with our nutmeg trees today. <laughs> it's looking really, really nice. So more cassava. This is our other nutmeg tree. New growth on it. Looking very good. More cassava. This is the plantain. See this part? It's coming up. It's growing. Mm -hmm. So we have turkey berry, I believe. Unless, well, it might be. It might be garden egg. Let's see. It is garden egg. So the way I can tell mainly is if it has thorns or not. So this cassava is growing up good. Here's our orange or tangerine. That's doing really, really nice. My husband put the, like I said, the poultry manure around all the plants. They're doing really, really good. Get that off of the leaf. They're doing really good. We'll go back over there and see those. Here's the plantain. You see? It's growing. It's growing. So you might say, why would you put it in the garden and it's going to shade some of the plants? But the way the sun comes up, we're here. The sun comes up here and it's way high. And then it sets over here. So... We'll have plenty of sun here still. Guys, look at this flower. It came all the way from over there. Mm -hmm. So these are garden eggs here. Look at the pepper, guys. It's got flowers. We're going to have pepper soon. Wow. I'm really, really pleased with this. I'm really excited. See the peppers? Mm-hmm. Wow. And the tree's doing really nice, too. 
One is orange and one is tangerine. We don't know which is which, so we'll find out one day. You see this here because I filled the poly tank and it filled. So, yeah, it brings a little water down here. It runs down when the poly tank fills up. You know, if it goes anywhere, it runs straight down here. So that's a blessing. We have this cassava. So like my husband was saying to me yesterday, all the cassava would be like this right now if peace hadn't destroyed it all. Yep. And then we have the pepper again. This is a different pepper. I think this might be habanero, if I'm saying it correctly. Mm -hmm. I've grown a lot of hot pepper in my day, so I can't really remember which is which, but that almost looks like habanero peppers. So let's go around the perimeter some more. We have more pepper here. Cassava. Efuyao took his um, avocado tree. Yep. The lemon. My husband's going to be bringing the backpack sprayer back so I can get these trees sprayed um, back from the farm. Look, guys. That's the worm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to spray you. That worm will get sprayed today. So there's still little bits of grass in here that we didn't get up and give to the animals. We might get that up later. They'll still like it. But they had a lot. Um, as if you guys saw how it was before, you know they had a lot of grass. So this was... Uh, joint venture together with Afu Yao, my husband and I yesterday. We really did a lot of work in here and it went by pretty quick. So that was a blessing. Big, big blessing. These are the garden eggs. If you guys haven't heard me say it, they're like a little eggplant and they're yellow. They're yellow. There's my tomato. Our tomato, I just call it mine, but they're ours. Plants are doing really, really nice. So here's the papaya tree. I don't know where the fruit's gonna come, guys. Really, really don't. Just looking. I see the flowers, so I'm guessing the fruit would come where the flower was. We'll keep our eyes on that and see if we're going to have a bunch of papayas. That would be awesome. So these tomatoes are doing really, really well, guys. Look at all the tomatoes on here. I still have to tie this up. I have not tied this up. Let me know in the comments if you guys tie your tomato plants up. I'm used to tying them up. I always tie them up. And this is what it looks like when we tie them. I didn't tell my husband we should have maybe put the fence up a little bit higher, but it's okay. It will work just like it is. Um, it's not going to be perfect either because I did it late. I did it late, but we had other things going on. I should have prioritized this and done it, but I didn't. So that's how it is. See, these were growing roots right here. And when I pick it up, you know, when I was tying it, some of the branches broke and stuff, but that's part of it because I didn't do it early. But you can see some of the tomatoes are ripening. We've already gotten a few. But there's going to be a lot more. This is going to be a huge blessing. And I see here's a green one. I was telling our granddaughter about fried green tomatoes. And she was like, huh? 
Like, it didn't sound good to her, but I was telling her to, yeah, it's kind of like the peanut butter soup. When I first heard peanut butter soup, I said, what? But I don't know what happened to this. But the peanut butter soup is really, really good, guys. Anyway, I got to, you see how they are tied up? I got to right here. And I have this left to do. But they're all kind of tangled and grown in together. So it's a little bit time consuming. You got to be really, really careful. Because you could break them. I don't want to break them all. This one is tied up. I think if it doesn't rain, we're going to have to get the, like I said, the water hose out here. Well, I really don't want it to rain now because I want to hang my clothes out. I have a lot of laundry, as always. <laughs> Mini farm creates a lot of laundry. But it's really a blessing. Um, our granddaughter is helping a lot. She's been practically taking over the cooking, the washing the dishes, um, cooking Nana's breakfast. She even comes down there and helps me with the water for the animals. I mean, she's doing a lot. She's sweeping, she's um, cleaning up the outside a little bit. She's really, really helping a lot. So that's enabling us to get some more of these projects done that needed to get done. So it's really, really a blessing. Here's my two turmeric plants right here. My husband got some poultry manure around them. He was really, Really getting that poultry manure out. Look at this one, guys. Really, really nice. This might be a turkey berry. It's got thorns on it. This is okra. And here's some okra. See, we're already getting okra, guys. I haven't come and looked that close at this. We're already getting okra. Wow, what a blessing. So that's what's going on here in this garden. I'm really, really, really pleased at how things have come along. Um, we have, as you can see here, they're all over the place, but you see this little bag water comes in it water comes in that bag and um i have taken some and cut the top and that's what they use to start seeds and plants and stuff like that so i have some of those and i think i'll start some seeds in there and then i'll come and find a place out here to put it where i can water it and keep an eye on it and keep it away from the dogs. What we really need, we buy onions, we buy garlic, we buy cabbage. Um, those are the things we really buy. So I would like to get some of those things here. I had garlic over here, but it didn't. I guess it didn't work out too good. I have more ginger in there that I can plant because it started, you know how it is, when you let it sit, it'll start growing. So I have some more ginger I can put out here. Um, it would be really nice to get garlic out here, but I'm not gonna prioritize that. That's pretty cheap. The onions can get expensive and the cabbage it's way cheaper than in the U.S., but I would like to grow it. So that's what's going on out here in this garden. We'll go and check around. Let's see over here. The sweet berry tree is what I call it. My husband said he planted one over there by the cassava, but I haven't seen it yet. Uh, the other one is stick is there yeah the stick is there but let's go check guys 
He said he planted it over here in the shade. I don't know. I really, really want to get that um, that bush growing. That would be really nice. With it being out there, I don't really see it here. With it being out there, you know, the dogs can easily get... Oh, there it is. There it is, guys. So hopefully that does well. The one over there died. It was out um, in the sun. They say it likes shade. So this one died. He still put manure on it in case, I guess. So I like that. I have seeds of it too. So we might be able to start um, some little seedlings. So we have these papayas, the moringa. My husband was talking about cutting it, cutting some of the moringa. I really need to cut some and get it dried up and um, put it up so I can start adding it. I can make tea. I can add it to um, when we're cooking and everything. I need to get some of that dried up. So the fence that was around here is what we used for our tomato fence. And then here is my catnip. Here's the catnip. It's growing. So that's a blessing. It's coming back. I had lemon balm, guys, and I planted lemon balm seeds. I don't know if I have any more. I'd really like to grow that, but... You know, things didn't work out in this garden like I wanted them to. So I think that is going to be my um, my plan now is start them in the sachet water bags and then keep it somewhere close where I can get it watered. Um, the plantain is doing really well over here. Here's We haven't checked on the coconut in a while. There's the coconut. It's looking much better now that Peace has left it alone. And look at this one, guys. It's going to bring nice shade over here when these trees, this shade tree grows up and this coconut tree. The palm tree will continue to cut and give to the animals. So eventually it won't grow anymore. Is what I think that's what my husband said. Which is good. We don't want the palm tree um, growing here. This plantain is doing well. This one's doing well. Lots of new growth. This one's doing well. Here's the papaya. So we have flowers on this one too. You see how it's different? See how it's different? So I think this is the male. And it does look like it. It looks like the one that does not produce fruit. So it's okay. Even if we leave it there, um, it can grow up. We can give it to the animals. Or we can cut it down and put something else here. They just grew on their own. So This one looks like the same. Yep. So that's what's going on over here. Haven't checked. We're just pushing this out of the way for now because when that um, grows straight up, you know, we don't want to cut any of these branches. We want them to bring us a nice shade. That would be a nice shade tree to sit under. Maybe put a bench, put a bench you know how they have those benches like around the tree, like a circle bench? That would be really nice. But you can just do a square. would probably be easier. Put a little bench under there. So sometimes when you're out here, you can just go and take a seat. This one is not doing great, but it's okay. We have the 
avocado tree here which is looking really really nice look at this new growth and it's big so hopefully we'll get some fruit from that very soon there was another one over here but you know peace decided we didn't need to so here's this palm tree which we'll use to um, feed the animals for now these trees guys that everything got away from us so i don't know what we're gonna do with those but we'll see another thing i learned guys is that lemongrass keeps mosquitoes away i did not know that so the lord willing and time permitting which we'll have to make it a priority I need to get this lemongrass and pull pieces off and go ahead and plant it all around, especially over here, close to the porch, and then on the other side. It'd be nice to get several pieces and plant it along that other side, right under the kitchen window. So those are things that need to be worked on. Now that I have help, I'll be able to get to some of these projects. My hibiscus is right here, guys. See it? So, it's doing well. Um, the other one is over here. See these white flowers? They just really, really grow easily. I'm finding them growing all over. They're really pretty, too. So my other hibiscus is right there. You see it? Uh-huh, right there. So they're still alive. They're still doing well. You can use these flowers, is what they said, for tea. But the other one has a lot more leaves on, or a lot more petals on the flower. So nobody planted this. This um, just starts growing too, everywhere. And then we'll go over here. I really want to step inside this garden and take a look at the watermelon. So I thought I would take you guys along. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move this gate and I'll be right back. Here we are. So we got peppers. And the watermelon is there. I think I'm going to pull it back in. It's starting to go out there. I want to keep it inside. So we got, we do need to weed this a little bit, but let's get up close with the sugar cane. We can take this, once it grows bigger, we can take these and, um, um, plant them so you can replant that is the wonderful thing I wanted to tell you guys about the farm I've told you before but I want to say it again um, the sugar cane the cassava the corn and the plantain once you buy the seedlings or the seed for that you're not going to buy it again you're not going to buy it again because the cassava, the sticks, you just break them, cut them, and put them right back in the ground, and they will grow. The same with the sugar cane. When it gets like that, it gets bigger, you can take um, the little pieces off and grow it. The plantain, little ones grow all the time, and you see how it is. You can just regrow it. And the corn, of course, the corn. You just take the corn off of the um, cob and you plant it. It's the seed. So once you invest in that, you don't have to go and buy the seedlings anymore. You don't have to buy seeds because you can keep on reusing um, what you had. So that is a big blessing from God. 
that he makes it like that. I have to be careful, guys. I think I already got an ant. Oh, that's why I got ants on me now. Hold on, guys. I'm back, guys. I had to um, get those ants off of me. They're biting really hard. So I'll show you what I did. I got to watch where I walk. I was busy watching the, the plants, and I stepped. Let's see where I'm going to step now. I stepped right there, guys. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's where I stepped. My fault. Yeah, those things really love biting me. I was trying to look at the watermelon. The only watermelons I've seen are little ones like that. And I haven't seen any growing bigger. Uh, and those things really itch, guys, when they bite. They itch me. Like itching and burning and... I'm just scratching, scratching, scratching. Like I'm not supposed to, I'm sure. So I don't know um, how the watermelon's gonna do. I really don't wanna venture back in there because now I already got all bit up. But anyway, um, yeah, that's all I'm seeing is these little watermelons like this. So I don't know if they're going to do anything. I see the end of the plant is kind of dying off. So I don't know. I was really hoping that they would grow big so Nana can get a big watermelon and we can all eat it. But it's okay. I still got him interested in it. We have other seeds that we're going to plant. And, um... We'll just keep our eye on this and see how it does. The contumery is doing great. So I'm going to put this gate back and I'll be right back. So what I was going to say is my husband found a solution to the ant problem. There's something you can spray. You see? See, guys? There they are. Look. And those things love biting me. So they made their way all the way over there. I saw them over here this morning. You see, they're going in the crack. Right there, I can't stand in one spot too long. Because they'll get me. Mm-hmm. So my husband found out what we need to get to spray. They're coming all the way over here. So I don't know. It's a lot. It's a lot. But his, um, everything and it's time. So hopefully this week he'll have time to pick some of that stuff up so we can start spraying around because, uh, it seems like I'm the one that gets bit up the most. So that will be helpful. And... Yeah, we didn't go down here to see the animals yet. So we'll go down here. I wanted to give you guys a up close and look at the gardens. And we'll go down here and check on the animals. The moringa is really, really tall, guys. It's actually taller than the mango tree. So yeah, I need to go ahead and start harvesting and we'll see where we go from there. We might cut it down and start over. Not sure what our plan will be for this, but we need wire gush and everything to make our starter garden again. So we'll need wood, we'll need wire gush, and we can't do that. Um, we can't do anything really in here until we take care of that so it would be nice to have a shaded starter garden but we'll see we'll see how it goes so we're going down here with the animals we'll check on them little bathing going on <laughs> 
So everybody down here is doing well so far. Oh, look at mister trying to get close to, to big mama. <laughs> oh, isn't it sweet? Mr. Mister, you found your girl? <laughs> He's funny. Baby Dalmatian is looking better. She's looking better. She seems like she's getting stronger. She was a little bit weak there, guys. But she seems to be getting better. Everybody's resting. Chewing. Chewing and resting. <laughs> So the geese um, were still going towards the fact that maybe they're both females or maybe they're both males. We don't know. They say it's really hard to tell them apart. What we were told was this is a female with a pink beak. And then when our other, what we were told was a male, um, died then we got this one and they said he's this is a male but this is their mating season and they have not crossed or anything not even tried that we can see we see guinea fowl there were uh, there was evidence that the guinea fowl is crossing so um, we know we have male and female guinea fowl that's a blessing but we'll keep an eye on that. I think the um, one that sold us the geese, you know, he's going to, he'll, he'll make it right. When the other male died, it wasn't his fault. But he gave us this one and didn't charge us. So that was a real blessing. He's supposed to come and get a puppy too. So that would be nice. That would be another person we know that gets the puppy. So we'll be able to see it again. I don't know which one he's getting yet, though. So the roosters are doing really, really good. I have not gotten another stone in there for their feeder yet, but it, hopefully I'll work on that. Um, Mama is doing really, really good with the Turks. Turkey Turkers. Mm -hmm. They're so cute. And I saw her. She was really teaching them how to eat. She was pulling the food out of the red feeder and putting it on the wood and then pecking it. And then they too would peck it. So, yeah. She's, she's doing a great job. And we'll come in here and I'll let you guys know what's going on with the chickies. These ladies have started laying more again. Bully Rooster, what's up? Come on, Bully. There you go. Um, these ladies' egg production has started to pick up again. We got nine yesterday, so that was a blessing, nine. And then so far today, we have six. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to show you guys what we have for eggs right now. Um, my husband helped me. I think I mentioned it in one video. I couldn't figure out how to get that stick to raise the feeder up. Because you don't want the feeder too low. They have to be comfortable. They don't need to be bending all the way down to get their food. That's what the mentor has told us. So, wow, look at that white one bulking itself up looks super big mm -hmm. but anyway that's how um the height should be for the for the chicks so they can eat comfortably so my husband helped me with that showed me how to use the stick to shorten the rope it was really easy but when i was trying it i couldn't figure it out so, so far today, yesterday we got 56 eggs. So far we have 46. 
and they're giving us some really big, big, big eggs. And then here's large, and here's medium, and here's small, and there's teeny tiny. <laughs> So that's what's going on there. Um, they're doing really, really good. They're feeling a lot better. So I just wanted to bring you guys down here at the end of the video and show you guys the animals. Um, it's funny, guys, because when I come, they start flying around. I don't know if it's because I'm coming or what. I don't know if they're happy. They do it in the morning when it's time um, when I'm getting everything situated in there. They start flying around. Some of them are getting really, really big, though. Some of them are really getting big. I can really see a difference in them. I think now, and they're eating their food, so that's a blessing. Um... Yeah, so I really see a difference. So I'm sure the egg production is following. We're gonna get a lot more eggs. So yeah, that's what's going on. And I hope you guys enjoy the garden update. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the animal update. There's one born and bred right here on the mini farm. One of the little chicks that made it, guys. We didn't buy that one with them, but this one is the same age. So some of these chicks that were born and bred on the mini farm made it. That is another one right there, the white one. And the one over there giving itself a bird bath, a uh, dust bath, rather. And then... Um, the checked chicken. Yeah, I think the other one. So these two were born and bred right here on the mini farm. And the other two white ones I just showed you. And they're doing really, really good. But that's what I wanted to show you guys. I want to encourage you guys to continue. Don't let time slip by. Continue to think about it. I'm write some things down write some things down and get your ideas your thoughts together and start doing some research anybody can do that you're going to be on your phone anyway so start doing some research whatever your goal is whatever you'd like to see your life be like if it's not like this find it find what it is and start doing some research on it and you know, get yourself thinking about it more. When you allow the busyness of life to just suck everything out of you and you're just basically going for entertainment when you get on your phone, you know, you're just getting stuck in the rat race. So I'm trying to encourage you to get yourself unstuck. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to leave you with that. And until next time. God bless you.